Rose, a cheeky rugby player who captured the attention of the nation during his stint on Love Island before calling time on his summer of love to focus on his Jack, mental health. Yes, yeah, since leaving the villa, Jacques O'Neill has spoken publicly about his struggles with ADHD, a diagnosis that he received aged just nine years old. And Jacques joins us now along with Dr Hilary. Really good to see, well, good to see both of you, always good to see Hilary, but lovely to see you, because of too, course yeah. we feel like we know you so well because we've been watching you and I, in my house, absolutely watching the, the show or, <laughs> or some of my kids are addicted. I'm very excited that you're here. Um, how do you feel? Because goodness me, the episode where you left, that emotional exit was, um, was emotional to watch, yeah. actually. How, how do you feel now? Uh, how do I feel now? Obviously, when, I've, when I first come out, it was very, uh, very different for me. Like I was very, uh, scared like I was just scared of life and what's to come next for me uh, and obviously I just wanted to like when I was in that holding villa after after I left the actual villa mm -hmm. I just wanted my mum like, all I wanted to do was just be with my mum and just literally just just go into hiding like I was getting so much hate and I was getting like like me and my mum getting death threats and everything and I, I was like mum we just need to stay in like you know we need to we need to stay indoors I'm going to delete social media I'm going to delete this I'm never going to be seen and then like obviously I started getting loads of like people like contacting me saying I'm an inspiration with with the ADHD side and like a bit of a role model and I was like mm. wait like if I'm if they're thinking this to me I can't just turn my back on people with ADHD like I need to stand up and actually do something you know what I mean so it's more like okay I can't be like that I need to like because I was I was getting like fully grown men messaging me saying love you like you're an inspiration you're a role model I was just like I was blo I was overwhelmed with it's it all. incredible that isn't it Jack because I think it must be really really full-on when you come out you've come from a different world you go into this TV mm. show you're in a bubble you come out and then bang yeah. you get what's coming from whether that it's, it's it's love or it's hate and initially you focus on the bad stuff, of yeah, course, course you do. and that's, yeah. it's horrific that you got such awful messages. But then very quickly, you start seeing the impact that you being you yeah. has had and how positive that can be. And actually it can be a really holistic thing to see, and I know that you've spoken about this on your Instagram, about how important and how sort of reassured you've been by, the, by the, your followers sort of saying, thank you so much for being brave enough to do yeah, this. Yeah, well, exactly, like this is why, like, I've been I've been posting quite a lot saying thank you because if it wasn't for them I'd still be in that dark place when I got out. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd still be wanting to go in. I still wouldn't want to leave the house. I still wouldn't want, you know. So if it wasn't for the people who were supporting me and and giving me that love, I'd I'd be in such a, a bad place. So it's like well, well thank goodness. I, I, yeah, I can't, thank goodness I can't that they did. Enough, really. And it was while you were still on the show that your family revealed and talked about yes. your ADHD diagnosis and how that was impacting on what we were seeing on the show. How do you think it did hold, hold you back? But just on that as well, when I got out, I was so ready to delete that, but I was so angry with my mum. I was were like, why, why have you put that out? Like, it, you're looking, it's like an excuse like, for my behaviour. Like, with me, I'm very like, I deal with everything. It's not about the ADHD, you know. I, we struggle, like people with ADHD will understand me. We struggle a lot, a lot different to, you know, some of our ADHD, like, you know, you know yourself, but... So were you worried that it was making it look like you were using your yeah, diagnosis well, exactly. as an I didn't, excuse or something? Yeah, I didn't want people to think that. And obviously, it, it wasn't that. I feel like my mum just, obviously, the, the hate she was getting and seeing her son, you know, she was very scared for me. So she mm. felt like she had to put some out, but I was close to deleting that. And then when I was getting the inspiration, like, I was you like... You see the okay, difference it's making? Yeah. Uh, Hilary, let's just talk a little bit about ADHD mm. and diagnosis in ADHD, because Jack's got it at nine, which yeah. is great, because he's got it early and he's been dealing with it and, you, you know, and having to learn to cope with it. Lots of people getting lots of late diagnosis now as well. Absolutely. So a lot of people have lived with this all their lives, and it's only now in adulthood that they recognise that some of the uh, behaviours that they indulge in is related to attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So... Uh, inattentiveness, not, uh, lack of attention to detail, poor organisational skills, flitting from one task to another, 
being very impulsive, taking risks, that not really worried about yourself or how your behaviour impacts on other people, is very, very typical of ADHD. Mm -hmm. And this is not an uncommon uh, disorder. Um, and it, it's and Jax has expressed it very well. It's not an excuse for um, what happens, but social interaction is tough uh, for someone with ADHD. And relationships can mm -hmm. um, be affected by what you do and, and mm -hmm. how how you react. So it's great that he's actually talked about this yeah. and, and now he's committing Huge to example. helping as kids, especially with all sorts of neurodevelopmental disorders, including autism, Asperger's. I think it's a yeah, really yeah. good thing. Cause that's because that's your plan you, now, Jack. Yeah, you like wanna... my plan, like moving forward now, obviously a lot of people come out and they don't really have a plan, but my plan is literally to work with kids with ADHD disabilities. Mm. And I want to go down that route. So literally just at the end of the day, a lot of people come out and, uh, thinking about money and all this like at the minute I just want to put a smile on people's face if I can put a smile on someone's face especially a kid's face it's going to make me happy yeah. so you can't put a price on that exactly no. you know it, it means so much like just to see someone happy who, right. who might be struggling and if I can make the day like it makes my day as well so I'd mm. love to move forward with that to be honest brilliant but well, the structure is really important yeah for, for we're, we're thrilled yeah. that you are feeling more positive about it as well and best of luck going forward oh, i appreciate uh, it. and i doubt yeah. it'll make a big difference to a lot of young people if you can help them i hope so yeah and i hope so it'll yeah. be wonderful it'll be a wonderful <laughs> thing to to leave thank you very much no, indeed. thank you Good